Yo, what's up, everybody? We back. Okay, so it's time. This is, this is what we practice for in the pregame. It's time to play the game out, play by play. Okay? Navigating through the distraction of self-imposed resistance, once again, uh, our most formidable opponent, which lives inside our own skin. Okay? So we're here to ignite powerful energies and bring in what we do best, playing our role in our game, whether it's you're in a team situation or you're solo, but bring your best attributes to the game without you know, being afraid to bring along any extra things that you may be able to contribute, okay? So we're gonna start out in Sukhasana, the team's here, the squad's here, so we're gonna remove the flesh from our sitting bones so that we have a great platform of foundation, security, and stability. Now let's close the eyes. This is an internal journey. There you go. Maybe you practice the half gaze as you draw the eyes towards the back of your skull and allow the sockets to protrude out into space so that we're not overwhelmed by external, external events, um, stimuli, what have you. You are internal, and this is where the exploration and then the empowerment is taking place. And so we'll connect to the very present moment through the breath cycle. As the inhale comes in, allow it to touch or come through the nasal passage, maybe even contacting the back of your throat or the glottis, creating the ocean sound on its way into the pelvic bowl, belly, ribs, armpits, chest, collarbone, crown. Pause the breath and experience your deepest stillness. Let go of something not serving, self-imposed resistance. Then as you exhale, the apana, flush it down through your sitting bones as you lightly lift the heart, surrender the hip creases in the sitting bones. And bring the next inhale in at a slow pace. Slow your game down so you can observe in more detail because it's slower. You know, sport athletes, you know, especially, um, perhaps even basketball players, you know, that was my former profession before I found the practice. Um, the zone, it's like these fleeting moments where things just seem slow, even though they're at their regular speed. They seem slow, defenders seem slow, the basket is as big as an ocean, the crowd is rowdy, but they're silent. And you're just in this space of pure awareness, right? But how do we tap into that? One way we could tap into that and practice it is through the slow breath. And then bring the graceful movement of the breath. So while it's happening, you're composed. And bring in a soft texture of the breath. Allow it to match your eyes, your temples, your cheekbones, your jaw, your tongue, and even the relaxation of your shoulders. Effortlessness. And right between your eyebrows, there's a movie screen. For the next few moments or however long we're here, whatever your game is, see it being played out to a T, perfectly. Positive visualization within the meditation. If we can see it, we can achieve it. So watch it, and even if something passes through in that visual that's not playing it out to a T. It's okay, just keep breathing through it, let it pass through. Get, on, get back on track. We just don't want to connect to it and allow it to escort us off into a sea of distraction, a sea of worry and concern and doubt and anxiety. Let's be free from those.
nice. And so, to the count of 10, we'll let that visual go away. 10. Five. let that go and let's dissipate any remaining resistance with the vibration of the sound of Aum. You can join in if you like, okay? But if not, that's cool too, right? Just take a nice smooth inhale through your nasal passage. And for now, we'll just ha sound out. And let's move in and inhale. Nice. Allow the eyes to open slowly with your next inhale. And we're here, okay? So let's come on to all fours real easy. Move any props. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, as wide as they are. Tops of your feet are down. And as you inhale, plant gently through the palms and shins and lift your heart and tailbone and let the belly fall heavy with the prana fill. And as you exhale, root and curl the spine into the cat. Then inhale your way into a neutral spine. Then as you exhale, snake the spine to your right, bringing your right armpit and right hip towards each other and opening the left rib cage. Then inhale back to neutral. Again, I'm not telling you when to breathe, they're just cubes. Then exhale, snake to your left. Nice. Then inhale back to neutral. Then exhale, curl like the cat. Inhale, lift like the cow. Lift the heart instead of the head so much. There you go. Then exhale, curl again like the cow. Nice. Now inhale, neutral spine. And exhale, snake. It doesn't matter which size you go to, right? Let's not let that be a decision. Just let it be a flow. Inhale to neutral. And exhale. Nice. Then inhale to neutral and exhale cat, okay? And so these are just the cookie cutters, right? But once you catch the groove, inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. You can move however you want to. Just move with the breath. There you go. Using the inhale for neutral spines and cat, cow spines. Using the exhale for snaking spines and cat spines. Nice, and just keep flowing. So you have the recipe. Follow your own destination. This is your game. You're navigating, you're navigating through the distraction of self-imposed resistance, your most formidable opponent. Notice if you're looking outside yourself for answers, solutions, and possibilities or even blame. Isn't this slow breath teaching us responsibility and awareness for our own objects of feelings, sensations, emotions, thoughts, and memories, right? If that's happening to you, look inside yourself. Find it there. That way, envy and jealousy has no part in your consciousness because you know you're dealing with your self-imposed resistance, your fear-based self, when the essence of that space is the champion brighter self. How about 30 more seconds here? Get the spine real warm like the cheetah's spine. Notice the cheetah's running motion and when they slow it down, if you get a chance to watch that on video or even in person, live. Notice how mobile the spine is. 
They're able to switch directions and change with impalas, which are very quick and agile in their own right. There you go. A couple more here. Next time you're ready to inhale, come back to a neutral spine, okay? And your knees are no wider than the hips, you can bring them together. And extend the left arm out and thread the right arm under. Just relax, okay? In this right hand, circle the wrist a few times. Be sure to go the other direction. While you're still inhaling for length, space, and energy, and you're still exhaling to cleanse, what are we cleansing? Self-imposed resistance. Self-imposed resistance will pose or masquerade as a true limitation, but it's an illusion. And that illusion is powerful at times. It'll stop us from going places, from doing things. Nice, let's switch sides. Perhaps it'll stop us from speaking to that person we're interested in. The fear of rejection. The fear of rejection could follow you into other categories too, so perhaps that is a form of self-imposed resistance because you never know. Who cares if the rejection is there? Just, you know, let it pass through your heart space. Keep on flowing. Take one more cycle here. Let's come back onto all fours. Tuck your toes under this time. And as you inhale, lift the chest and tailbone, let the belly fall. And as you exhale, hollow the belly into the cat stretch. And retain the emptiness and allow Udi on the bonnet to lift you up and back to down dog. Press all the way back into the power of your legs. Then inhale, lift the heels high. Bend the knees and place them down soft. No clunks. Imagine you're a jaguar on the hunt. And exhale, sit back towards your heels. Just easy. Maybe you want to lift them. Then inhale, come back to all fours, right into the cow stretch. Transitions are key, they're beautiful too, right? Isn't change, exhale, curl. Isn't change inevitable for all of us? Then use Udiyana Banda to lift you up, up and away. And since change is inevitable for all of us, let's change gracefully. And when we get there, let's be all we can be into that new chapter. Inhale, lift the heels, bring the knees down soft. Exhale, sit back towards the heels. Nice. Inhale, all fours. Lift the heart, the tailbone. Exhale, curl, cat. Udiyana Banda lifts you up, up and away lightly. Root. Nice. Inhale, lift the heels extra high and bring the knees down extra soft. No clunks. Then exhale, sit back. And so the jaguar, we talked about being a jaguar on the hunt, right? The jaguar cannot afford to be clumsy around the territory. It's playing against too many things. Keep flowing, okay? Too many things. So we have to be aware and responsible for our movements. Our prey is very sensitive. Chase it off. Then there's other animals that alert your presence. Then there's other animals that want to take your capture. So as you move around the territory on the hunt, be aware. Nice. And then once again, we're rocking out to the sound. DJ Soul Rising. Deepak. Nice. There you go. We're almost there, guys. But as we move and breathe, we can stay energized. Fatigue does not set in. It's almost like we can be here for 
forever or for a longer period of time. Maybe not forever. There you go. And as we move slow, we're aware and responsible for every moment of the movement and not bypassing those more subtle areas that need addressing and just focusing on the larger areas or our stronger points. Yeah, we're using our stronger points. We we'll also bring along any weaker points or unrevealed points or yet to realize point. Let's take two more here. And wherever you are, we'll wait for you once it's all said and done. So no rush at all. time you're able to come to a neutral spine on all fours. Then lift the shins and lay the thighs and the hips and the belly down. And send that right arm out to the right. Now, be aware of this in your shoulder. Roll over to your right, opening the chest. And bring that right knee in line with your right hip in the H shape. And you can place your left foot down here, all right? Or maybe, you know, you don't, just gauge how much space you need, all right? And you can reach up, or first, you can keep your hand here. You can reach up, or you can also reach behind for the clasp. Be aware of your shoulder. Allow this shoulder to open. There you go. And your heart. And sometimes this situation is seen in a restorative or a yin practice. And it's also contacting the meridian lines in our lungs and our heart. So just breathe into the space. Remember, your, your props are your friends. Sometimes you can just use this and prop up here. And that way you're not just holding yourself up. Always practice with great quality. Right? You can just relax here. Let's take a couple more breaths. Nice work, guys. Now, real easy. Slowly. Roll back to neutral. And when you get here, let's prop up into a sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders, relax. And let's circle the head a few times. Switch direction. Ready and send the left arm out. All right? And then roll. And so the option, again, is to keep the palm down or reach up. Or you can reach behind, but you just want to gauge it. You want to be careful with your joints while opening the heart. prop in so many ways. If the head is not relaxed, you can relax, right? The props are your friend. They all, again, they teach us to not be afraid to ask for help. And in turn, they provide us with more quality in the situation to receive more benefits, okay? 
So we'll take a few more breaths here. Nice, beautiful. very gracefully come away from it walk away nothing jerking your movements rid yourself of the prairie dog and insert the jaguar instead all right let's just hold steady here for a moment nice let's get ready to press up so, place the tops of your feet down. We're gonna move like a cobra coming out of the basket. So, pelvic tilt, and as you inhale, rolling up, head last, into an upward facing dog. There you go. Gaze into the horizon. And when you're ready, Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's pad the heels up and down a few times. Now we're gonna move into another powerful movement. We'll call them Uddiyana Banda planks. Okay? So we'll keep our toes tucked under. Next inhale, cruise to the plank like a dolphin shooting out of the water. Keep your toes tucked under and your arms pressing through the palms. Let the hips lower and your heart lift. Now when you exhale, hollow the belly and cruise to the plank. Just the plank. Feel Uddiyana Banda lift you up. Then inhale, lower and lift. The elbows are straight. Then exhale, hollow the belly and curl. Inhale. And exhale, curl. There you go, keep flowing. Let that Uriana Banda lift you up like a parachute. There you go. Squeeze and curl the spine like an angry cat. Hollow the belt. Nice. Keep flowing. Nice, beautiful job. Nice. Moving with the breath. Couple more here. Squeeze. Nice. Now the next time, Use Uri, Uri on the Banda to take you to down dog. Relax. Then take child's pose. Relax with your arms resting by your sides, palms facing up. Nice. Relax and honor the earth for teaching us security and stability. Doesn't it support us? It supports everything. But we also have the same earth element. So when you're on your mat, whenever, wherever you touch, there's a placement first. First and foremost. Then, depending on how relative, followed by a plant, a push, or a press, what have you, right? On your next inhale, let's come back to down dog. We'll come to all fours first, then exhale to down dog. All right? Let's take another session of Uriana Banda push-ups. Inhale, plank, and lift the heart. There you go. And as you exhale, hollow the belly and roll it up smooth. There you go. Nice. Inhale, lift. You're all ready. This is a constant. This is a constant earth presence. And then the water, right? You're like an ocean. There's so many ways to look at this. We've discussed the Jaguar in different, different opportunities, but now the ocean, the ocean floor is in your palms and your toe pads, and ocean water, fluidity, 
shifts in your movement. And because of the ocean floor, the movement is secure enough to be fluid. All right? How about four more right here? Nice. Nice. Three more right here. Build that strength. Maximize your powerful, powerful areas. So when it's time, you can shine, right? So when it's time for the game, you bring them through and shine. There you go. Not holding back. Two more. Last one right here. Beautiful. When you're ready, take down dog. Take a couple cycles here. Then inhale, cruise. And when you lower the hips, lift the left heel. Then exhale, curl. You can place the foot down or keep it lifted. Inhale, lift. We're just gonna do five. And X. Nice. Realize how important this right quadricep is. Activate it. There you go. Nice. Don't be afraid to feel. Increase your capacity to feel. There you go. The only thing we don't want to face is pain. That's not necessary. Last one right here. Now, exhale, draw the knee into your hairline. Hold steady. There you go. Curl the spine like an angry cat. Inhale, extend the left leg all the way up and back. And exhale, open the hip. Nice work. Beautiful, let's circle that ankle a few times. There you go. And then extend the leg again. And exhale, place the foot down soft. Last one, inhale to the plank. Lift the right foot, lift the heart. There you go. Then exhale, curl. Inhale, lift, hang in there. Exhale, curl. Beautiful. Three more in. And exhale. In the midst of challenge, right? Don't be afraid to feel. Keep your composure. Hold steady and draw the knee into the hairline. Last part. There you go. Even in the midst of great challenge, step up to the plate with great quality. Nice. Inhale, full extension, up and back. Exhale, open that hip. Beautiful. Circle the ankle a few times. Nice. Beautiful, inhale, extend, exhale the foot down, easy. And let's walk our feet up to our hands. And when you arrive, crease and reach, exhale, fold over. Let's take gorilla pose. Take your feet hip to shoulder distance apart. Bend your knees enough, belly thigh connection. Take the hands underneath. Stepping the big toe up to the fleshy part of your thumb. Spread your finger. And you're gonna pull up gently with the hands as you root down through the feet. And as you inhale, fill up the back side of your torso, armpits and ribs. And as you exhale, root, lift, separate the sitting bones and fold easy. Nice. And you just follow the breath cycle. Now, if the space is there, take your elbows let them bend and take them out. Take them out wide. There you go. And then take them out wide and towards the back edge of your mat too, just a little bit. Yeah. So you're not just, you know, make, make sure you have the ocean floor there. And that's going to contribute to opening or stretching the wrist. We have a couple more cycles here. Then we're going to move on. It's beautiful work, guys. 
Remember, even in the midst of challenge, in the midst of challenge, keep your composure, keep your great quality, right? If you find yourself flailing somewhere, and you don't really have a foundation, or you're not in tune, be aware of that. She's like, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Let me slow down a little bit. Let me get it together and then come back to it. Beautiful. Now from here, let the hands go. Circle the wrist a few times. Now as you inhale, lift the heels and sit down towards them, perch them. Nice. Nice. Place your hands down and sit down. All right? And when you're ready, inhale, root down, tabletop, reverse plank. All right? And as you exhale, swing the hips through. Yeah. Then inhale, tabletop. See your elbows are not bending. And exhale. Use Udiana Banda to help your upper body. Nice. And you can always keep the heels down and lift one. All right? Just make sure you alternate. Or you can work on the elevation of the legs, lifting from the quads and the hip crease. Nice. We just have a few more. Last two. You feeling it? Yeah. It's all good. It's feeling you too. Last one. Sit it all the way back. Reach. Crease and reach. Remember the arms are an extension of your heart. And settle in. the heels in the vasana. Nice. Take a few breaths here. Now if your legs feel too heavy and your heart is sinking, soften the knees like Casey so you can lift your chest. Nice. Now from here, cross leg. Press. Even if your feet don't lift, they don't have to. Keep them down. Beautiful. Now come back. Four breaths. No, no, no. Four breaths. There you go. They're in a rush. <laughs> it's not time to leave yet. All right. One more time. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Cross and press. Remember, your feet don't have to lift. Just lift your hips if you need to. And then come back to Navasana. Three breath cycles this time. There you go. Nice. All right, now let's cross and lift. Beautiful. Now let's sit. Navasana, two cycles. There you go. We're almost there. In the midst of challenge, stay composed. If you need to back off, soften your knees. Then one more time, cross and lift. Nice, now, Navasana. One breath. Nice. Cross up and over, downward facing dog. Or you can take Chakrasana, the yoga somersault. Nice work, man. Nice. Now let's just relax here, it's done. So, you know, once you leave the situation, 
the, the emotions and the, the, the feelings leave, but what about when they're happening? This is when we want to practice the composure, the responsibility, the awareness, and the effortlessness, okay? And great quality. So whatever that means for you, that's what you do, that's how you practice it, okay? And let's walk our feet to the middle of the mat and walk our hands back towards our feet. All right? And we'll take another perch. Relax. Let's open the knees. All right? And you can send the arms out ahead of you or take eagle arms. Give the upper body a nice openness. So anytime you need balance here, just squeeze your inner thighs or inner knees into your shoulders and secure yourself, okay? And if you have eagle arms, switch them. Reach out, big wing span, and then take the other one under. Send the hands out ahead of you like you're in down dog. And then as you close the knees, brush the armpits with the knees and bring them together. Then press down through your fingertips and toe pads, lift your heels and hips up high. And exhale, lower, crease, reach, and fold. Nice. Let's take a couple cycles here. On your next inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana. All right, we're gonna move into our side, side bird situation. On your next exhale, sit and twist to your left. On the inhale, lift the heel, sit down easy. On the exhale, place the hands down. Bend the elbows, side crawl. You can extend if you want, no problem. Then come back. Utkatasana. Wait for the exhale and twist the other side. Lift the heels in. X. Fly. Nice. Come back to chair. Bukitasana. Exhale, sit and twist. Inhale, lift and perch. Exhale, twist and place the hands down. Inhale, fly. And these are just options, right? You just go to where you need to go. Come back, chair. And exhale, twist. Nice. Inhale, perch. Exhale, hands. Inhale, fly. Nice. Exhale. Chair, inhale, ukatasana, exhale, twist. Keep flowing, find the rhythm. Eradicate the hesitation or the stuttering movement the best you can. So that means you need to practice with great quality. If you get to a place of un uncertainty, then just reevaluate, stay there for a moment. And then if, as, or if it dissipates, then you keep flowing, all right? So let's take two more rounds after this right side. We're almost there. Nice. Nice. Beautiful control, beautiful grace, beautiful power. There's a marriage happening in your practice. You're married. Perhaps you have this masculine 
this, this powerful masculine side of the strength. Then you have this beautiful feminine side of grace and fluidity. And you marry them together. You marry the fluidity, the grace, the flexibility with the power, the strength, the extension. Here you go and complete yourself. This is the last round right here. And so when you return back to the right side, we'll let that go, okay? And we're gonna wait for you. such great mobility. The mobility of a spider. Yeah. And when you're done, just come back and perch. And ought to honor the water in you for the flow. Down dog, relax. Nice. We have one more wave before we slow it down, okay? You guys are doing such a great job. Nice work. Inhale, send the right leg up. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the hairline. Curl the spine, press back through the heel, root down. Inhale, full extension. Keep some attention in your left heel as you move. Exhale, curl with Uddiyana Bandha. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, yeah. And exhale. Step through, soft like a jaguar, right? Nice, and inhale, root to rise. And when you exhale, twist and reach out like a great basketball player, twist. Reach out like you're blowing past the defender. Then if you want it, if you choose it, take it into the prayer twist or place the hand down. And if you choose it, take it into the bind. But take it with great quality, remember, no forcing. Take four breaths here. Send that left hip point back through your left heel as you extend the heart space ahead of it. Nice. One more cycle. Beautiful. On your next inhale, pivot a quarter turn to your left. Then another quarter turn to the back, into a long runner's lunge, extend, and exhale, down dog. Nice. Take a breath here. Nice. There you go. And on your next inhale, slowly send that left leg up. And exhale, draw the knee into the hairline. Curl the spine, make space. Then inhale, full extension, all the way through the toe tips. Exhale, bring it all the way in, all right? So listen, two more. When you express yourself, express yourself all the way. There you go. Bring it in, Easy. One more time. When you're ready, step through, clean. Beautiful, inhale, arms and torso up. When you exhale, twist to your left. Reaching out, like you're blowing past your defender, a great long basketball player. And then when it's all said and done, if you choose, take it. There you go, there you go. And however you express yourself on the first side, express it here. As you inhale, that's horizontal length. And as you exhale, that's a root and rotation.
One more cycle. Nice, and as you inhale, pivot all the way around to the front. Take your time. Long runner's lunge, extend out. Then exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Let's take a cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. And then high sound from the throat. Beautiful. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, bring the knee to the right armpit. You can slide into the running man if you want. There you go. Then inhale, extend. Exhale, slide. Inhale, extend. Exhale, slide. One more time. Nice. Now inhale, extend. And exhale, step through easy. There you go. And as you inhale, turn that top foot out. Spin that outer back foot down and reach up. Triple pose. Nice. Beautiful. One more cycle here. Now remember, make sure you're on the edge of the outer back foot. Lift up. Now, on your next exhale, spin the back heel down and windmill up, upward hands warrior. And then wave it back. Then exhale, unsupported. Side angle warrior. Then inhale, wave. Then exhale, crease and reach. Two more, in. You like a, like a squid here, like an octopus. A jellyfish with the arms. One more time. Then settle into the side angle warrior. Nice work. Stretch the mat apart. Use the leverage here of the outer arm and the inner leg to help you draw the right hip under, left hip back, roll the rib and the heart open. One cycle here. Now as you inhale, bring it through and pivot all the way around to the back. Long runner's lunge. Beautiful, exhale, step back. Down dog. Beautiful, let's take a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nasal, then ha. Ah. Nice, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee to the left armpit or running man. Nice, inhale, extend, extend long. And exhale, bring it. Nice work. Two more, in. And X. Nice. Last one. And X. And when you inhale, extend one more time to get it ready, beautiful. The next cell, step. And inhale, turn the left foot out, outer right foot down and open. Nice. Now root the earth away, not, not only with this palm, but the foot too, and lift. As you inhale, extend the heel, extend the heart. When you exhale, root and rise. It's like a plus symbol line of energy. The inhale is horizontal, the exhale is vertical. There you go. One more cycle, you're so beautiful here, nice. Now exhale, warrior two from there. Transition with great mobility. Upward arms, upward arms, upward arms, upward arms. There you go, and then exhale, reach out. Nice, and inhale, wave it up. Wave it up. Then exhale, wave it up. When you wave it out, crease the hip and reach the armpit. Nice. Last one right here. Then come right into side angle warrior, real smooth. Nice work. 
The foundation is always here. Find this razor edge, press back through it. These are the seeds of your tree. This is the root, root. This is the trunk. This is the branch. These are the fingertips. And all supported by the lead foot pressing down and forward, okay? It's a beautiful tree right here. Let's take one more cycle. Nice, now as you inhale, use that right arm to pivot you all the way around to the front, to a long runner's lunge. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Ah, nice job. All right, listen, one more side. Inhale that right leg high. And exhale, bring the knee across the body. Touch the elbow. Beautiful, inhale, extend. Exhale, across. Inhale, extend. Exhale, across. One more time. Hold it over there, maybe extend the right leg. Maybe you keep that thigh lifted. Spin the back heel down. Reach up. There you go. Maybe you lift the thigh up. There you go. Ooh. All right, nice. Bring the left palm down. Send the right leg up. And exhale, step through easy. Inhale, triple pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, send the arms up. Then exhale, unsupported side angle. Hold steady now. Hold steady. One more cycle here. Now, how about we inhale up, cartwheel, pivot, pivot, exhale, extend it, runner's lunge, downward facing dog. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, nice. Ready to finish it. Inhale the left leg. Exhale across the body. Inhale, extend. Exhale across the body. Two more, nice and smooth and graceful. Nice. Nice. One more time. Then maybe you bring it across, and when you bring it across, you spin the heel down, keep the leg lifted. You can even take your hand out. See if you can find some extension. There you go. Beautiful. Inhale, extend. And exhale, step through. Inhale, triple pose. Exhale, warrior two. Upward hands. And move into unsupported. Hold steady. Now your, your, your foundation is key here, okay? Stretch the mat apart, Lift, extend the heart, and crease. One more cycle, you got it. Yeah. And on your next inhale, come all the way up, smooth cartwheel to the other side. Step. Child's pose, relax. Beautiful work, nice. All right, it's done. work. <sighs> and right here, the next couple breaths, honor the earth, the ocean, and the horizon for showing us security, fluidity, and infinite possibilities. Nice. Let's come on to all fours real smooth. Here you go, sweep your legs around. Let's, let's become very passive here now. 
and then draw that right shin in. And you send the left leg back and reach out. Setting up for a half pigeon. Inhale, lift the heart. Then exhale, crease and reach. Settle down. If you ever feel, you know, a lot of space underneath, in this case, the right glue, how about we use a prop? Support, support even hips, just as you would have even hips in Tadasana, okay? Tadasana teaches us to practice so whatever posture you take, see if you can implement Tadasana, however relevant, okay? One more cycle here, not long at all. Nice, now as you inhale, Roll up like a waking jaguar. Head last, very secure in your surroundings. Then as you exhale, crease and reach again. Then now roll up. Roll over into the right glute. Slide the left leg around and scoot in as needed. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crease and reach. And so as you inhale, slide the left heel in, okay? Until you can slide the left heel in until you find a belly thigh connection. Bend the left knee, listen, listen. Bend the left knee, slide the heel in, belly thigh connection. Now as you inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale to fold, slide the heel out, maintaining belly thigh connection. If you lose it, come back to a slightly bent, bent knee and then surrender into it. Make sure your fold is happening at your hips and not your spine. It'll be, the spine can be round somewhat, but let the majority of the fold happen at your hips. Nice. Beautiful, as you inhale, slowly roll up Jaguar style, waking Jaguar. All right, then extend the right leg. Bring the left one in, send it back. Set it up first. Inhale up. Then exhale, crease and reach. Surrender. Surrender with buoyancy and density. So as the inhale comes in, the flesh and the muscles are soft. And as the exhale exits, the bones are heavy, sinking to the bottom of the ocean. The inhale is let yourself. The exhale is let yourself go. The inhale is length, space, and energy. The exhale is cleansing. One more cycle, not here long at all. On your next inhale, roll up slow. Exaggerate your movements. 
Then as you exhale, crease and reach and fold again. Nice. Then inhale, roll up. When you're ready to exhale, roll over to the left glute and slide the right leg around. And then slightly bend the right knee. Belly thigh connection. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, crease and reach. Belly thigh connection. And when you find it, take an inhale to lengthen again. Then exhale, slide the heel out. As long as you can keep the belly thigh connection. There you go. And let that neck relax. Find the softness, find the marriage, right? We talked about that. Within the posture, the length and the depth of it, find the softness within it. One more cycle. Nice. Slowly inhale, roll out. Head last, okay? Then extend both legs, mat distance apart. Mat distance apart. Then roll down easy. And rest your arms by your sides. It's the end of the game right here, okay? So just take a few moments in Shavasana at home and um, experience an organic reflection of your journey. Okay? We're not trying to feel, we're not trying to think, we're just open and willing to observe while staying connected to the ocean flow of our breath. Marvelous job. Namaste. Mm -hmm.